Hey everybody, it's Pete, and today we're going to be playing something a little fun and a little old. Yeah, she didn't like me saying that. Um, we're going to play something a little old. We're going to play Until Dawn. It's a new series. Uh, I'm playing the PS4 version of this for a reason. Not because I couldn't get the remake. I could get the remake if I wanted to and make series on that, but... They decided to delist it from the PlayStation Store. The original version, I mean. And I don't like that. I don't like it. Yeah, okay, if you own it, you can still re-download it, whatever. But, you know, the conversation of video game preservation is still a hot topic today. Um, I'm very much on the side of everything should be preserved. And I also think, especially with video games, if it's at a certain point and you as the company are not doing your due diligence to make sure that the older versions or the older releases are available then you know what if people emulate pirate do that kind of stuff you're you're kind of putting it in their hands um so don't get uh don't get whiny about it but anyways yes i know i need to get going with stuff we're gonna start a new story in until dawn and we're gonna see how many people we can keep alive every single time that i have played this game I do really well until right at the end and everyone dies. <laughs> I'm really bad at the endings of these super massive games. But that being said, let's go ahead and um, get started. Thanks for joining me today. The butterfly effect. The tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Yeesh. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Yep. Choose your actions carefully. All right. Wow. And the thing is that this is a PS4 game. This came out, what, 2015? So, almost 10 years now. And it still looks fantastic. Looks great. This looks amazing. I'm looking at it on my monitor and on you know, my laptop where I'm recording it, and it just lo it looks great on both. It's, it's insane. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh, shh. Don't you guys think this is a little bit wrong? Oh, come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Oh. I just realized there's paper towels back there. Sorry about that. That's kind of funny. Hannah! We're still in the middle of packing. <laughs> I'm uh, not sure when this video is going to come out. Um, I think <laughs> maybe here. tomorrow, 26th, Mike. as I speak of this. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Sup, Hannah? Yeah. Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. And we have control. This is what I really loved about the game, was it utilized fixed cameras in a really 
novel kind of way. Um, I still think, yeah, like this this whole the inspection thing, like that when when this came out, this was like, whoa, this is awesome. Hannah, you look so hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike. So what is it? Is it what's hugs and kisses? Which one's the X and which one's the O? I never could figure that out. Well, it's one of the two and he gives her three. So there you go. And it's triple X, which, you know, there's another connotation to that. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention time. Like, I feel if, and this is, again, this is 2015, so now we're in the future now with um, Supermassive Games. Oh, yeah, I can make the head go around. We that's, wait, here we go. Yeah, that's so cool. I love it. <sighs> so, anyways, where I was. Um, you know, Bloober Team was known for their first-person kind of walking simulator exploration games they slowly started adding more and more gameplay as time went on more things to interact with this that and the other whereas like the original layers of fear which i followed from early access it was just kind of like things happened right like it was just environmental changes kind of thing there's really barely anything to interact with besides notes and doors you know you can open doors open drawers <laughs> i feel that if supermassive were to invest in a small team, maybe two to four, three, four people who focus specifically on the, the rudiments of combat mechanics, they would be an excellent choice for a Silent Hill 1 remake. I, I know it's probably going to end up going to Bloober, probably end up being a third person over the shoulder camera. That one... You know, in Silent Hill 2, I'm okay with the camera change. Um, I feel like it, it worked for me. It made me like it more. For Silent Hill 1, I feel like part of the charm of that game was the real wild, like, David Lynchian, Sam Raimi, Cronenberg, weird camera angles and Dutch and movement and all this. Like, I feel like that was what made it. So, let Supermassive cook. Let Supermassive do a Silent Hill 1 remake. They made Little Hope, which we will be playing on this channel very soon. And I'm looking forward to playing on the channel because I really, really, really enjoyed that game. Um, it had some real original designs and just... It's just good stuff. Good stuff all around with that one. Tutorial. Use the right stick to look around. Objects that glint can be inspected. Cool. Jeremiah Craig since 1794. That's very delicious. It's Jeez, delicious Josh. alcohol. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Mm -hmm. I got your note. Glad you can make it. I I really maybe we wonder. should start with a little, you know, making out. And see where it goes from there. Hold on. Oh, hell yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt. I got the GoPro and everything. What's here? up? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. It's all oh, got out of hand. It's just a stupid prank. Uh, hey. You guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah! Let's stick to choose. Choose what? Yeah, let's wake Josh up. Why not? Josh! Josh! Fuck! Guys! There's that someone outside! What the hell? Man, it must Hannah. be nice to have insanely rich What's parents. What's going on? Where's my sister going? <laughs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What I love how do? back in the day, like, the facial mocap was serious. really good, but you it was jerks. still like, Hannah. I'm speaking, but my lips Hannah. don't move. So, should we go after her? 
You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Okay. Oh, shit. Square. Oh, 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 oh. Fast. Let's go fast. Gotta go fast. Ooh, look at that. Follow noise. Okay. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? Oh. Oh. Follow the footprints. We're going to chase after Hannah. Again, the system for changing things in the game is is pretty in depth. It just kind of funnels towards the end. So at the end, you kind of ooh touchpad. Let's go. That's dope. Love it. Hannah. See, and this is why I was like, "Son, have one remake. Do the Son, have one remake." Because then you can have. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. You can direct the flashlight. While moving the character, it's so cool. They did something like that in Quarry a little bit, and I loved it there. Whoa, what's up, Mr. Beer? Hold L1 to walk faster. Hello? 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 Oh, what's you? Oh, yes, I remember these. Oh yeah. Death Totem. This is another game that I've played many times. I played it originally a couple times through. I've played it with my wife. Oh, oh, there we go. Um when I played with my wife I kinda let her make the choices, aside from like the quick time actions and stuff. Uh and yeah, it's just every Shoot, scare me over there. The Every that? single time that I play it, it ends up being immediate Anna. death for everybody Anna. when we get to the end of the game. Well. So hopefully this time I can do a little better. Anna, oh my God, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Ooh, it's the predator. Anna. Those are your names. That's true. Ooh. And the phone falls. Of course. Jesus Christ. Played by the great Peter Stormare. And I'm not just saying that because we share names. Before we yeah. begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in 
this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every <laughs> single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So apparently the movie for this is coming out next year and he is coming back as the analyst, which is so awesome. You have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Apologies, sometimes, there's no subtitles. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Cool. I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to turn the subtitles on. Oh wait, sidebar text. Okay. Resume. All right. There we go. We will start with a simple exercise. I know some of them will get cut off. Could you please pick up Let's see if I can do something about that. And I want you to look at the picture no. on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is How's that? essential. I'm a little small now. <laughs> honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Oh. That's a lovely picture of a scarecrow in a barn. Put that down. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. I feel uneasy. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Hmm. Hmm. It's the scarecrow. I don't oh, like I scarecrows. See. I see. Some people have a thing with Let's mannequins. See. I have a thing with scarecrows. The they kind of freak me out. We're not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. No, I wouldn't. Not by myself. Some freaky scarecrow staring at me all week. No. Why not? I'd be scared. Is there something else in that picture that scares you? No, just a scarecrow. Yes, there is. There is something. Maybe it's the barn? I don't know. That's intriguing. But perhaps we can explore the depths of your fears the next time we meet. I'm afraid we're out of time for now. Okay. Well, thank you, Doctor. That was useless. <laughs> that was incredibly useless. Oh, yeah, here we go. Let's go. I haven't played this in a while. It's been probably a few years since I've touched this. So this will be fun. A lot of bits that I haven't seen. Oh, Hayden Panettiere. What was that show she was in? Heroes? I used to love that show. That show was pretty cool. My man. Peter Stormare. Love that dude. Best best uh, depiction of the devil in uh, was it Constantine oh man he killed it man. Jordan Fisher my wife saw that name and she flipped out and I was like okay and I guess you know she had been following him for a while on some other shows or something Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. 
Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on I really do like how Supermassive has kind of taken their One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out their thing, and they've kind of foul play. Not officially, no. Every there single game they put out, they've improved upon it. Granted, the Dark Pictures anthology is pretty much just reusing the same set of tools over and over. Um, sadly, rest his soul, the um, the curator's gone. That's sad that he passed away. My officers did search the grounds, but, uh, but this is kind of cool. This is going back because we played, you know, Something Casting a Frank Stone not that long ago, which is our newest one. And well, thank you for joining us, Andy. For the now we're going back tonight, to the beginning. Oh, well, it feels like the beginning for them. The anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. This this was such a well, hello, man, this was such a amazing right, experience. Rami Malik. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have it's you guys Freddie all back Mercury. this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and I, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you, and, um, mm. just share some moments that we'll never forget. Share some or, moments, okay. For the sake of my sisters and you know okay so let's party like we're fucking porn stars okay make this one trip we will never forget all right yes <laughs> okay very fast and then i'm probably not pronouncing his name wrong but Larry's gonna come back in the movie. Put my own little spin on that. That's something else that I will be doing on the channel. Just as a heads up. Uh, once the move is final, and once I get settled in, I'm going to start working on music again. And I'm looking forward to doing... Oh, there's Larry. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing videos on the creation of that music, or like little self-produced music videos, or something. But there will be a lot more music happening. Sam, best friend. Hannah's best friend. Considerate, adventurous, and diligent. Continue. Hello? Someone there? <laughs> Sam, path to cable car station. It is 21.02 o'clock. I have no idea what that means. Wait, so 21... No, it's... Was it 9 o'clock something? 9.30? I'm so terrible with military time. I can move the camera with the right stick. Not really. I can move her head with the right stick. Objects that Clint can be inspected. Wow, what? The gate's busted. Climb over. <sighs> What's that? Chris said, yo, how do I get there again? 
Okay, buddy. Um, that's also something kind of nice. I don't know if anybody notices that. But, I mean, this is, again, 2015 on a PS4, okay? We got the little snow decals under the footsteps. Sorry, that's my, my game dev nerd side coming out. I think that's super awesome. Uh, let's go safe. Nice and slow. Uh, jump, why not? Yeesh. You're young. You're like teen. Why are you struggling so much? <laughs> You're teen and you seem to be in shape. Why are you struggling? I mean, me at 40, being an amputee, I would be like, <clears throat> I'd be dying trying to do that. Oh, the lighting is so beautiful. I mean, I'm literally like looking on my laptop. It looks like a uh, work of art. It's beautiful. You hungry? Huh? <laughs> Cutie. Okay. That's what I'm going to do whenever it's the don't move. I'm just going to let go of the controller. If you're unsure of what to do next, press R1. Current objective. Head to the cable car station. Here's another little funny thing. I'm, re I'm recording this on the day of the year anniversary of the release of Stray Souls. Anybody who's played Stray Souls, that that game. Originally, um, the creator had a menu screen that was literally a direct ripoff. Direct ripoff of the menu screen from uh, Until Dawn. The only difference that was is that in the Until Dawn menu screen, you could control the head of the character. In the Stray Souls one, it was just an animation that was playing looping, but it was the same setup with the options on the left-hand side and then the close-up of the face on the right-hand side with the face moving around and stuff. Um, yeah, that was uh, that was something that during production we had to kind of nix and be like, well, we got to do something different there. Oh, I don't want to do anything different. Well, then we had to get other people involved to make sure that something different happened. So it ended up being mostly the porting <laughs> cool. team that did the work on, on what you see now. And they did a great job. I love what the porting team did. Honestly, if... Uh, if 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 with that game. Anyways, we're playing until dawn. Let's get back. Let's get back to that. Okay, indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carry dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butter butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Uh, death. Black butterflies prophesied prophesied the dreamer's death. Danger. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends, a loss. Guidance. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. Fortune. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Aight. So keep an eye out for them totems. Los butterfly totems. Look, there's one right there. It is a yellow. So you explore, you discover totem artifacts. Picking a totem up and turning it will reveal a colored butterfly and a premonition of a possible future. Okay. The future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on the choices you make. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, cool. Go away, tutorial. You're ruining the view. Look at that. That's beautiful. See, and that's why I've chosen this channel to do horror games. And when I do the series, I'm trying to pick games that are artistically sound. Um, I think really as of right now, because today's the day that I'm recording this, not the day that this is coming out, but the day I'm recording this, uh, Stray Souls is out, you know, and I think it's going to be the only series on my channel that's going to be of a game that's not 
artistically sound. Um, there's artistic beauty in Stray Souls. Don't get me wrong. Um, all of it provided by others than the person who wanted to take the credit. But <laughs> that's a whole nother story. In this game, sorry, it's because it's the day. I'm recording this on the day, the year anniversary of Stray Souls. So I'm probably going to make a lot of comments, especially since a lot of inspiration was taken way back in the day originally to make a game that kind of harkened to Until Dawn. Until Dawn was one of the pillars for um, Stray Souls' production, early production. Later on it changed, but early production. But just look at that. And just the animations, everything. Just, oh man. Just so beautiful. Wow, graffiti all the way up here. The past is beyond our control. Man, PS4, and it just Junior? looks so good. Bag's here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Hello. What do we have here? Nothing. Leave it alone. Every single time that I've played this, I've always looked at the phone. I'm just gonna close the bag this time. Maybe I should have put more markers and stuff. Hmm. Sam, hey, you made it. Dun, dun, dun. Chris, he has a crush on Ash Ashley. He's methodical, protective, and humorous. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. It really yeah, does. Right? Even the sound design, it feels so, yeah. so on, TV show cinematic. Use. It's just very, uh, it's very much a film. That comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Ah, uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Want to try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. Oh yeah, time right. to do some shooting. Here goes. Some shooting. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can do any good here. I mentioned in another video that these games, to me, it's often like reading a really good book. The difference being is that you actually get to be a part of it. Wow, nice shooting tits. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Not, I don't think so, girl. <laughs> I've played this game before. <laughs> well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Oh, Chris, don't do it. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> Bruh. <laughs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Too Come bad. on, Chris, the cable car. I guess that would be if we had to crit if we had to be critical. That's one of the things that was lacking in these games is gameplay. And oftentimes it would kind of rush you through moments like that. I remember the first time I tried that. It was terrible. Oh, look at this. Oh, okay. Nice. Wanted. No grim. Victor. We'll get a visit six from mil. Height six two. Last like known address Blackwood Pines. Last seen oh, come on. March sixteenth of nineteen ninety eight. Wanted in connection with a first degree arson offense, as well as, well as various death threats. Anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal should contact the BPMC as soon as possible. Blackwood Provincial Mounted Constabulary. Constabula is. Constabulary. Constabulary. Wow. Weird coming back up here after a whole year. So they're in Canada. I swear the they're in Canada. Canada. All came flooding back. 
Here goes fast. Collect clues to solve the mysteries of Until Dawn. Yeah, I figured that was the plan. But I mean, look at that. Just look at that. I'm sorry, but that's like that right there when i'm looking at it, that could be a piece of like concept artwork I, I for i mean it's just so cool it. like it's just amazing all right that's weird doors locked yeah um, let's get at it y'all keep it locked keep people out he said that what people sorry i'm on like a plastic table <laughs> for all they this found people sleeping in the yeah, i am so looking forward to have my office Creepy. back and uh ed misses you all he can't wait to come back um as well as Mr. Spookies himself will be arriving. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be good times. Good, good, good times. We got a, got a whole future ahead of us, right? And thankfully, this channel is finally a thing. Years late, but it is finally a thing. Snowboard's pretty dope. I would take one and I would snowboard it a lot. Oh, what's what this? Blackwood Pines Hotel and Sanatorium for a healthy no body and mind. Not so rich. Family bought a mountain. That's right. They're they're the poor kind of rich. They could only afford a friggin' mountain. <laughs> so dumb. And I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. Well, that's I'm a weird. Why? Why is that? Why is that a thing? <laughs> why is that a thing? Yeah. So ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You gonna publish? What? Your pretty poem, "The Sleeping Giant of Blackwood Forest." Oh, shut up. Well, here comes the cable car. Is there anything else I can do over here? It does not appear so. I will go ahead and leave. Finally, you coming? Yeah, yep. well, I was gonna stay here and catch some disease, but okay. It's just like going to the prom. I'm also unsure of how long these episodes are going to be because I remember there being like episodic stopping points along the way. I could be wrong. I mean, again, it's been years since I played this. I can't remember all the little details. But Josh seemed really pumped about us all. Um, if there is that, then that'll probably be the stop point for these episodes. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, kind of worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. There you go. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. Look at that. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. There you go. If it weren't for the fact Look at that, that Jeannie beautiful. Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or we're talking to some other Butterfly person effect. entirely. Yeah. Boom. Butterfly effect. There you go. Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. She's confident, trusting, and irreverent. Because you know in high school how you like change girlfriends and boyfriends like their socks. Because one week they're the love of your life and the next week you can't stand the sight of them. And it's usually over some real dumb stuff that boy, doesn't matter. Boy, boy. Kids. Time to meet and greet. There's probably kids watching this going, you don't need to talk about my relationship like that. Trust me. Been there, done that. 
take it from your gamer horror dad. I been there, done that. I still love that. That's just so like if you don't move the character, then you're given the Jess, are you gonna die in this game? Yeah. <laughs> Hey. Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh, if I just hold it, it just holds. It just stays there. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, Bruh. Sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? Good lord. I wonder. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. Easy peasy, right? Lemon squeezy? <laughs> alright, alright. Let's just get up to the lodge already. I'm getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <gasps> Did you see this view? Yeah. I mean, I do. holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. I swear you're the only sane person up here. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Emily, Mike's ex. She's intelligent, resourceful, and persuasive. And also a raging bit. <laughs> I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. He's motivated, ambitious, and active. <laughs> so dumbest dating profile descriptions. Uh, love it. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? <sighs> We're playing Matt, Washington Lodge grounds. I mean, I'm kind of playing the role of Bellboy. Getting chills. Right now. We're almost That's there. No, I'm mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna do feel the like TTP a party. Time till, <clears throat> you know. There it is. There it is. I mean, really though, like it's. It's insane what video games can do, what do now. Ah! Jesus! <laughs> ah, scurry. Mike, Emily's ex. He's intelligent, driven, and persuasive. <laughs> He's also a bit of a, a jerk and a braggart and an idiot. <laughs> You guys. Michael. You really, really see your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little <sighs> harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being, you always get like this. Always get like this, M. I am, I Emily. Hey, look, we're all friends here. Michael. Michael. I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Yeah, we're all friends here, um, dude. This is super awkward, and we all know it. Yeah. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move uh, on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nah. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Well, all good. 
You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Dude, stop. Uh, no, seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. Right. See you, man. See ya. Right. See ya. Wouldn't wanna be ya. <laughs> Crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Um, uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Uh-huh. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Leave it alone, all dude. Right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, the more even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Ugh. Ugh. Just the worst kind of people. So I think we're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna try to keep everyone alive, but there's certain people that you know if things happen, they happen. I'm not gonna be too brokenhearted about it. Look, it's Ashley. She has a crush on Chris. She's academic, inquisitive, and forthright. <laughs> She's also one of the nicer characters in this game, if I remember correctly. Oh, look, there's Jess. She's still waiting. If we go a little over here. Oh, oh my gosh, hello. what's happening? Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. Whoa. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Cheaters. Oh! oh God. <laughs> oh. Hey, whoa. <sighs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, well, man, I'm not really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. He seems like such a just nice dude. Is anything juicy with him? Got uh, caught up with a girl who was just <sighs> not good for him. Yeah, no, you take a look, buddy. Take a look um, at what your girl's doing. Sure. Uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. <coughs> oh. Yep. There it is. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. The nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? <laughs> no. Ever? I don't know. I... God damn it. I don't think so. It's never Matt. just nothing. Way to go, Ashley. Starting up that drama, stirring the pot. There you go. <laughs> Oh, you're waiting for your boyfriend, but your boyfriend's hugging on his ex-girlfriend. Uh, you're going to check your phone. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? <laughs> oh, grab snowball. I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh! Suck it, Ray. Hey, you know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chicken? Oh! Ah! Hey! Oh, snap! <laughs> Hello? Come on. <laughs> hey, Mike! Boom! Shakalaka! Yep, there you go. There it is. <laughs> Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to me, do. Michael. I know all your tricks. Uh-oh. My batteries are low. 
Whoa. That's not a good thing. calling it my favor then you're a worthy opponent miss jessica the snowball queen okay that sounds vaguely dirty my not name. vaguely pretty get him ah! oh ho, ho okay okay you're really gonna get it what am i gonna get well i can think of at least one thing yeah but you'll have to wait until later yeah. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Hey, well, Lord. I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Well, hmm. we're going to pause there and I'll pick it up in the next episode. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Please do the YouTube homework, like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, all that fun stuff that you are required to do by YouTube. Because if not, this channel's going to die. Actually, no, the channel's not going to die because I'm going to keep posting regardless. And if you want to join along, I'm grateful for that. I am grateful for you. I'm grateful for your life, for your existence. Uh, everyone, please remember to love one another. And I will see y'all in the next one. Okay. Bye.